Native American families say they have no answers as to why their daughters, their sisters, and mothers have been murdered or gone missing. It's part of a nationwide epidemic, and one that doesn't even have a number as to how many victims there actually are. ABC 4's Rosie Nguyen looked into it. Joins us now in the studio to preview tonight's special report, Missing and Murdered Indigenous, Indigenous, Indigenous Women. Excuse me, Rosie. Don, the Urban Health Institute counted 506 cases of missing and murdered indigenous women in urban cities. But they say that's likely an undercount because of poor resources, lack of information, and misclassification. I traveled down to Navajo Nation to see firsthand why their population is so vulnerable. They tell me the shortage of law enforcement officers leads to delayed response times. Tribal courts face the difficulty of not being able to prosecute offenders if they are not Native American. Families of victims say they want to see local government take action in creating a database and tackling this epidemic. This goes back 500 years, this kind of violence on indigenous people. So I think there needs to be that base understanding to really understand what's happening today because it's still happening. Coming up tonight at 10, Lee and Shandine share their story of pain and trauma from this epidemic and details on what's happening on Capitol Hill to raise awareness on this issue. Don Emily, back to you.